Hurt. of the Foxians, and the hunter of all beings. I'm Mokhtok, a humble counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. I am only one insignificant heir spawned from your bloodline. It's been at least seven centuries since you led our pack through the hunting grounds of the stars. I'm thrilled to see that you are as cunning and skillful as ever. Seven centuries. Seven centuries have passed. But... Why have Duran's whelps grown to look like this? Tell me, Moktok. Why have you grown to resemble our most despicable slaves and enemies, the Foxians? I've been commanded to release you from this cursed prison. It is Senjaya's will. That's why I had to take a magic pill, don the skin of a lowly beast, and play along with their hypocrisy. Since you have an escape plan, tell me, what's our next move to get off of this ridiculously large ship? My brothers and I will lock down this prison, trapping the prison guards inside. This will buy us some time. The rest of my crew, who are undercover like me, to secure the vessels for our escape. According to the plan, we only have a tight two-hour window to get out of here. Originally, I intended to carry out the plan tomorrow, but they're planning to transfer you to the Sienjo Yaoqing now. So I seized this opportunity to set you free. Oh, what a reckless plan, you idiot. Even if we manage to get the ships, our chances of escaping are slimmer than the Foxians slipping through my claws. But we have no other choice. The angel serving under the Master of Immortality sent me with a message. Only your return will end the prolonged divisions among the Borison. Every one of my crew is ready to lay down their lives if it means setting you free. <laughs> A sneaky weakling like you is actually showing some reckless bravery with this plan. Fine. You'll get what you want. And all of Duran's whelps will too. Well then, my lord. We should leave now. Before we go... Give me one of those magic pills. My lord... You seriously want to don the skin of a lowly beast? That would be a disgrace to your greatness, my lord. You idiot. Greatness means nothing without freedom. Once I get out, I'll need a disguise that won't raise any suspicion. As you wish, my lord. Mm. Is that foxy enslave my meal? No. He's an envoy from the Sienjo Yaoqing. I plead you to endure him a bit, my lord, as he's more valuable as a hostage. Take him, guys! Time to move out! <laughs> Madam Hanya, the Wardens in all areas are regrouping. Those Ingenium enemies are wandering around and causing heavy casualties. 
And to make things worse, those iron wolves broke open the cages and let the criminals out! We've called for backup, but it seems like all communication is jammed. Let's preserve our strength and first take down the isolated prisoners. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Just a short time ago, the nether key mechanism was activated. It was probably Madame Shui and the Yao Qing messengers heading to the bottom of the prison. Given the situation, I'm afraid that area is exactly where our enemies are targeting. We mustn't let that vile beast escape from its cage. We've gathered all the prison guards who can still fight, and we'll split up and secure each floor. Go! Those intruders are quite bold. They must have been planning this for quite a while. Indeed, but Boris intend to favor direct and aggressive approaches. Crafting careful and precise plans like this is simply not their style. Let's focus on the current situation right now. Please help me. What's the fastest way to the bottom of this prison, Miss Hanya? If we don't get there quickly, we'll soon be outnumbered by all the enemies inside. We'll have to bend the rules. Please, follow me. Prisoners must remain in place and obey the By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended. Dead or alive. Yes, ma'am! Hold your position here. Yes, ma'am. We need a few tools if we want to reach the bottom quickly. Follow me to the next floor. The, pe the mechanism. No matter. It'll just require a bit more work to get through. Commission to navigate the treacherous terrain here. Normally, using devices like the shifting screen is strictly forbidden, as they could help prisoners escape. But, given the urgency of the situation, let's just ignore the you. The nether key has been activated. I hope we're not too late. Hang in there, sister. Looks like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. <sighs> the gate to the prison delve is wide open. Hule has managed to break free. Where are the Yaoqing messengers? And where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. Zhui is here. Miss Zhui Yi briefly sacrificed herself. My condolences, Miss Hanya. Condolences? Well, that's unnecessary. You must understand. 
Thanks to the Ten Lord's blessing, my sister turned into an Ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma's document office has become a routine for her. While I'm not keen on seeing her throw away her body like it's some replaceable part, but... By the way, have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoqing messengers? One of them is a Foxian wearing exquisite clothes, and the other wears a dark cloak, like a fugitive. No. I haven't found any Foxian bodies. Only Borison ones. So, the intruders and Hule are holding the Yaoqing messengers hostage. This is the worst situation. With hostages in their grasp, the prison guards can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between the Yaoqing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. We must rescue the messengers, get out of here, and spread the news. We mustn't give up as long as there's a glimmer of hope. What have you found, Miss Hanya? moment. Her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Let me see. The damage isn't too bad. If I can fix it up, my sister will have a temporary body. what kind of expression I should have at a time like this. Happy? Tears of joy? <laughs> Forget it. I'm used to you coming back in all sorts of forms. Now is not the time for j, -j jokes This side crane can't hold all of me. Sister, what did you see when you were... killed? One of the Yaoqing messengers escaped, and the other one was taken hostage and brought upwards? Besides the Borison, there were other intruders. Invisible. Invisible intruders? What does that even mean? How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. And now you're the only person, the only bird, who can slip out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I... Uh, understand. Please be careful, sister. You... are different... from me. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If we keep delaying, those Borison will escape from the prison. All right. If we happen to come across that Yaoqing messenger who got away... <sighs> no. Stopping him should probably be our top priority.
Wait! Something feels off. Something's approaching us. The invisible intruders? What was that? These abominations aren't prisoners from this prison. Stand still. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! I weep for the part. It too shall fall. Destiny for oblivion. The prison management on the law food is true. Truly concerning. Who are you? Aren't you looking for me? Relax. Good time. Time to say bye. Boom. What? Ill tidings manifest. Just focus on the fight. Retribution will find you. Step up, let's see ya. Stand still. Ill fate descends. Still waters of living. Memories up beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Ah, like a <laughs> say bye. In a... <laughs> Relax. Uh? Another blood debt repaid. Prison management on the Lawfu is truly concerning. I prefer to be called the Yao Ching messenger who strategically retreated. At least two different groups of intruders infiltrated here the Wolf Cubs and these Mara struck soldiers. Their hiding technique, it's pretty similar to the Wind Mantle technique used by the Vidyatara serving Kylorum Venti on the Yao Ching. What do you think? Well, never mind if you don't have any clues. Now is not the time to exchange assassination techniques. I'm Waza. My friend fell into the clutches of that wolf. I was planning to escape and report back as quickly as possible. But now it seems... <sighs> the prison on the La Fu is a real maze, I must admit. Thank you for your help. Mr. Morza, we'll do our best to ensure your friend's safety. No, you can do nothing for him now. And you shouldn't be focusing on his safety at the moment. Your friend is in Hule's clutches and you're just going to leave him behind? Look, I'm the Yao Ching General's guard, not his. I've seen how that giant wolf fights and there's no way. Trying to save my friend will only get us killed. <sighs> I don't know how you think, but I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Listen up. I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know their next move. They're planning to seal off the entire prison to keep the outside world in the dark. The worst case scenario, we are all killed by that giant wolf, and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us, or about their escape, until it's too late. And the best case scenario...
No, we won't be able to. We're one step behind them. The best case scenario would be we seal the gates and trap the enemy inside with us. We can't let that monstrous wolf escape. Hopefully, someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help. As for whether we'll still be alive by then, it's not something we should think about. You should have a way of comforting people, Mr. Moulton. As a person of the Yao Ching, I've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to. I have to make it out alive. My companions are waiting for me. <laughs> As another world dweller, I've already died once. Yeah. We won't give up. Not until the very last moment. None of you are part of the Ten Lords Commission, so sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison. And if someone should step up to stop Hule from escaping, it should be me, not you. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison. And you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements. Now, let's proceed upward. We must seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. Just ahead. Dream four. Gleam gold blades. Make a wish. I will hold them back. Don't let Hule escape. Attribution will find you. Decided to play your ace, huh? <laughs> Stand still. Nice, like my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Relax. Destiny. Ill fate is dead. Free with the still waters of living. Another blood debt repaid. Stream four. Just one step away from freedom. We pass through the gate. No one will be able to stop us. Mm. So this hostage is useless now. K 
Kill him, Mottok. He's getting away. Do something, Zhao Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Zhou? <laughs> oh, just look at you. Fallen so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the Yao Qing would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Xiao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lonely beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Bok Tok. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? But my lord... We must stay here for some time, Mock Talk. Fear not. Because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xianzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's whelps, follow me! with the Shackley prison. We received a message from a Psycrane. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoqing messengers and the Nameless? Uh, no news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the Shackling prison as soon as possible. I see. You're dismissed. General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan, it's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Xianzhou Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away. Once and for all.
haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose.